Okay, you guys are doing that on purpose. Uh, after watching my first box opening episode or opening boxes episode together with Skill for LTU. And of course, if you haven't seen that episode, go check it out. We had a lot of fun, many laughs, and uh, well, that opening overall was really nice. Uh, simultaneous opening, so I split the screen so you guys are going to see basically 200 boxes. Uh, but in that episode, I opened 100 boxes, which I bought uh, for myself. Uh, for my page to win account soon uh, we are going to get 200 boxes from board gaming as well as a christmas gift i guess and uh, i'm going to make an op opening episode for that also but um, even after that even after opening 100 boxes i wasn't able to get uh, 703 version 2 and uh, on the top of that i opened 25 other boxes on the side and uh, still no object 703 version 2 but what I was able to get, uh, well, you go check it out yourself. A link is in the description as well, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, after, so far for me, after opening 125 large boxes, I haven't seen Object 703 version 2. So, so far, it equals exactly 200 euros. Because the first episode cost uh, 160 euros and uh, the other 25 is uh, 40 euros worth. So, so far 200 euros down to drain. Actually, not, not exactly because uh, great value in cold and premium time. But uh, after 200 euros, no object 703 version 2. But I'm already getting hammered by you guys. I am already getting hammered with questions, how is this tank? What do you think about this tank? Uh, how does it look? How does it play? Is it OP? Is it average? Is it uh, completely broken? Is it weak? Guys, after 200 euros, I still do not have it. I haven't been able to play with it. Which makes me quite sad, but uh, hey, it is what it is, right? And now on the top of that, on the top of getting hammered by the questions, uh, how this tank is. By the way, feel free to ask any questions. I'm not going to say no to any questions. Uh, I am um, just trying to show my best. I'm just trying to answer it uh, as best as I can in this episode. Um, you guys are hammering me with yet another thing. Pictures, replays, screenshots. Oh, this. Look what I got. I bought three boxes. I got 703 version 2. Oh, 11 boxes. Version 2. Uh, 703 version 2 and E75 TS. Hmm, 11 boxes. Okay, how nice. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> I'm actually happy for you guys. I'm happy that you were able to get your uh, 703 version 2 with only three boxes, for example, or with 11 boxes. I'm actually happy uh, over you guys. And uh, you guys are sending me so many replays as well, so I decided to pick this one uh, to show you what this vehicle can do. And I uh, picked this matchmaking for a special reason, like usually uh, looking at new premium tanks uh, in the tier 8 battles, in full tier 8 battles, or uh, even worse versus tier 7s, tier 6s. It is not going to show how good or bad one or another premium tank is, because... In tier 6 battles, basically every single tier 8 premium tank, doesn't matter how good or bad it is, it can still uh, kinda take a grab on the tier 6s and on the tier 7s. And so this battle, we are in a 2 tier battle versus tier 9s. We have artillery, we have uh, 6, actually 7 tier 9s in total in this battle, so uh, quite a tough matchmaking, I have to say. And on the top of that, this battle basically shows you all you need to know about this vehicle, all the new features, you're going to see single shot action, you're going to see some double good shotgun action as well, and you are going to see this armor in work, which is uh, um, together with the double barreled gun system, the bread and butter of this vehicle. Frontal armor is extremely strong. Now, because I didn't get this vehicle myself at first, um, I had to do a lot of researching. I was looking at many of your replays, which you guys sent to me. I was looking at many streams. Who were able to get uh, this vehicle in one way or another, uh, but they are basically saying the same thing. This vehicle is really, really good. Some are even calling it uh, like super strong, extremely strong, OP and all that. So, you know, but uh, many times OP gets used way too often in World of Tanks. And after watching many of your replays, I think 7, 8 or 9 or maybe even 10 replays, I don't know, uh, I was able to see how you guys are playing with it and how people are reacting versus Object 703 version 2. 
and what I found out was many people are panicking. Number one, they do not know where to shoot it at the moment. Uh, lower plate is the key, of course, over here. And uh, they seem to be struggling quite a lot because of the upper plate, especially in tier 8 battles. And by the way, in this situation, you are going to see the double barrel action. Loading up. Nope, let's cancel it. And now, loading up once again. And after three seconds, boom, there it goes. After three seconds, there is that boom, massive 785 damage done. And after you do that, your reload time is going to be locked uh, for four seconds. Or actually, it is not exactly locked. It simply adds four extra seconds on the drop of 21.8 seconds. What you can see over here, if you completely empty your gun system. But you are able to take the double um, shot action after winding it up for 3 seconds. So this is definitely nice. 700 damage done. Boom, just like that. You are able to finish off targets a lot faster in this vehicle, for example, than in even IS-3A, which has auto-reloading gun system. Quick shot into the tracks. Boom. One more shell left in the magazine. Yeah, this battle... Like bouncing, dealing damage, bouncing, dealing damage, spotting, everything in this in this battle. Once again, fully reloaded and ready to go into the action. But I want to talk about the armor a bit more. So uh, what I was able to find out was, yes, people are panicking versus uh, 703 version 2. Not too much in this battle, actually, because he's not going to abuse this frontal armor too, too much. People are able to penetrate it into the rear. Well, you are going to see that in a moment. After he's done taking that double shotgun action into the pooper of the Tiag Tiger. 713 damage done. Quite a nasty low roll, I have to say, but... Oh well, you can not win them all. And after taking out that Yacht Tiger, he's going to give enemy tanks a chance uh, because he's basically waving his pooper at uh, all the enemy tanks. <laughs> okay, so armor. Let's talk about the armor now. Uh, thanks to GG, doesn't have working uh, 3D armor model, doesn't have working armor model, so I'm not able to show you the exact angles and all that, but. Um, one guy in the World of Tanks uh, Discord server, FCM F1 is here, was able to post a couple pictures uh, with the effective armor values. So basically, if you get this tank hull down, it has 140 mm thick frontal upper plate. If you get it hull down, it equals basically 280 mm of effective armor. Turret roof is 50 mm thick, but it equals 270 mm of effective armor, according to those pictures at least. There is a gun mantle around it, which is 220 and which actually is 220 as well, but it is actually quite a, uh, quite a tiny strip next to the gun mantle, so I don't know how useful it is to penetrate it and uh, when side scraping, ladies and gentlemen. 200 under perfect angle, up to 271 millimeters thick hull armor. And by the way, don't you just love the sound of the double barrel action going off? It is amazing. Let's listen to it again. Amazing. And by the way, those two shots were hits as well. Hits and penetrations. So over 5000 damage done. Easy breezy, beautiful. Good job. So this battle, I can say, is not going to end up super awesome for our hero in this battle, but look at the uh, shots received. APCR, 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 and even more APCR. So in this type of situation, uh, to be able to bounce 2830 damage is still showing quite something, in my opinion. Plus HG from the Arc Tiger, plus uh, tracking shot, uh, which didn't count towards the damage bounced as well, in my opinion. And so, yeah, this tank can take some beating. Is it the best tier 8 premium heavy tank? Is it the new meta? Is it um, game breaking? Um, I want to play with it as well to come up with my final conclusion, but because you guys wanted to see this tank in action so much, 
here it is. I tried to look at the replay which basically shows everything about it. Besides some long range and sniping shots, but you do not have to be the smartest guy in the world to understand that this tank is not going to be the most uh, accurate sniper gun handling. Uh, actually, on the paper at least, there seems to be quite garbage. Uh, do not expect uh, hitting too many shots uh, from medium to long range. Close range is the bread and butter of this tank. Because uh, stock accuracy, without 100% crew, stock raw gun stats, 0.44 accuracy and 3.5 second aiming time. With 100% crew, 3.36 second aiming time, 0.42 accuracy. Minus 5 degrees of gun depression, 221 millimeters of penetration. All this means you have to be the luckiest to hit the weak spots and penetrate them in the first place. So yeah, I guess this is kind of a balancing feature or balancing factor about this tank. On some maps you are going to hate it, on some maps you are going to love it. So far it seems to be pretty strong. Once again, I hope with those loot boxes what Wargaming is going to give me, I'm able to get my bloody 703 version 2. And I'm able to show my own gameplay as well to you. Maybe even streaming it, so stay tuned. Streaming link is in the description as well. Hit the follow if you want to do that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, because you wanted it so bloody badly, here was Object 703 version 2, or, sorry, variant 2. First gameplay brought to you by Death Games. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you were able to take something away from it at least. Well, doing all that researching, watching the battles, um, listening what other think, uh, well, it actually gave me a lot better overview of the vehicle before I'm going to jump into it, so I am able to take something away from it as well. Win, win, I would say. But now, beautiful people, it is time to give something away. Because I wasn't able to give away anything in my previous episode, it wasn't part of the Desmos 2019, but this one is. And because we are talking about boxes and uh, the box content, yes, yes, I am going to make one player happier with 11 Christmas boxes. So this is what you are able to win from today's episode, 11 Christmas boxes. What you have to do for that is extremely simple. Number one, answer to my today's video question. Number two, be a subscriber because I'm, I want to support people who actually support my content as well because those loot boxes are expensive. And uh, number three, if you leave a like, you are, you are going to make me happy. And the question, of course, is about 703 version 2. What do you think about this vehicle now, after watching this episode, or after playing with it, or after seeing it in action, or after playing against it? What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. I catch you next time with something else. Maybe more box openings. I don't know. Stay tuned for that. Take care and bye.